Ever wonder what's going on behind the scenes at one of my YouTube video shoots? Well, today I'm gonna to take you behind the scenes and I'm gonna show you. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy. I simplify water filtration and every week I post the new YouTube videos, but uh, today I'm taking you behind the scenes, behind the curtain if you like, a little peek to see uh, how things work and how th we do things here. And uh, stick around to the end. I've even got some outtakes for you. So in our studio, it isn't actually a studio, this is our store. So what I do is I convert the store over to our studio and this is what that conversion looks like. I do all of these videos myself. I write them myself, I think of the topics myself, uh, there is an actual script for every video, and uh, obviously I do them myself, I edit them, the whole thing is myself. So I use uh, as many um, conveniences as I can. So I have a remote control for starting and stopping my camera. Right now I'm uh, showing this to you on my, uh, recording this on my iPhone so that I can show you my camera and my other setup. So let's check and see what it looks like from my point of view. So this is what I see when I'm shooting the videos. You can see there's the lighting setup, etc. So I upgraded all this equipment uh, in the summer of 2019. And if you compare the, uh, the, the video quality to the, and the sound quality to my earlier videos to the ones that we're making now, it's a big difference. So um, one thing, I, one big investment was improving the camera. So this is a 4K camera. So it shoots very, very high quality images but it also uh, has automatic focus. So I just move up here and I just push on my face and it has face tracking. So what it does, it makes a little square around my face and it follows it around. So it makes sure that my face is always in focus. And again, that's one of the uh, advantages of using this kind of equipment when you're shooting it yourself, you have to maintain that focus. Upgraded the lighting system because before uh, we could barely shoot videos on a cloudy day in here because we just didn't have enough light. And again, I've got a super fast 1.4 lens on that camera. So again, I can, uh, I can work with uh, whatever light is available. We also upgraded our microphone. You can't see it here. It would normally be hanging from the stand over here, but I've uh, put it onto my iPhone here and I'm using it for recording the sound for this video. So I mentioned earlier about all my videos are scripted. So I make up a script ahead of time and I try to follow that script. From the script, I create my little cheat notes. Yeah, that's true. I have little cheat notes. So if you see me glancing down a little bit uh, while I'm making a video, that's because I'm checking some of the points on here. Most of my videos have a lot of steps and uh, a, a lot of steps are very important. So because of that, I have to do the cheat notes. I can't take a chance on just doing it from memory and missing some uh, critical steps. So that's why we have this here. And, uh, and then while I'm f filming the videos, um, I make little notations in the margins down the side. So when it comes to editing, I know what piece of uh, video matches what part of the script as I'm going along. Usually I do it in order, but sometimes I jump around a little bit. So I have to make sure that I order it correctly. And normally I always wear glasses, and, uh, but I don't wear them in the videos. It's because the light reflection in that is very distracting, the glare. And it's one more um, technical issue I don't want to be bothered with. So I just found it easier just to not wear glasses at all during when I'm shooting the videos. Because the screen on the camera is very small, I also hook up a monitor to the camera so that I can see, um, see the video play back and uh, so I can check for the quality, make sure I'm in focus, uh, make sure the sound is there, check the edges of the image, etc. And uh, it's just a lot easier to do at this stage than uh, find out when I'm at the editing phase that uh, something isn't right and it just doesn't look right at all. I always shoot the videos when we're closed and every week we're closed on Sundays for family day so that's the best time. So typically I'm in here Sunday morning shooting. I've got total control over the lighting, the sound, the environment, etc. The only thing I have to be careful of is the phones ringing and uh, when they do I sometimes have to reshoot the scene. The other potential hazard about being in here on Sundays is that people are in filling up their water jug from a 24-hour vending machine and they're pounding the lids on the jugs and sometimes that uh, disturbs the video sound so I may have to reshoot the scene. A big advantage of shooting the videos in the store is we've got lots of stock on hand so it gives me easy access to whatever I need for props for making my videos.
When I'm at the store, this is my office, although to be perfectly honest, I'm very seldom ever here. During the work week, this is where I spend most of my time, in my van on the road, because I'm out helping customers. We offer a free in-home water analysis, so I'm out uh, testing folks' water, making recommendations. And because we're up here in cottage country, I've got all-wheel drive because uh, we get a lot of snow up here in the wintertime and uh, there's a lot of scary roads and I'm out there all the time. And again, it's one of the big differences between me and, and a lot of the other guys that are doing uh, water treatment videos or have e-commerce stores. They don't actually spend time in the field. They sit in an office and uh, do a lot of the administrative stuff. I don't. I'm out in people's homes every single day and uh, that helps me keep on top of what works and what doesn't so I can give you some great advice. I'm often asked if I haven't run out of all the ideas for making water treatment or water filtration videos, and the answer is absolutely not. After making over 250 videos on the topic, I still have lots of topics left. The video topic ideas come from people just like you, people that make comments to my videos, ask questions, etc. So keep those comments and questions coming because I always want to have some great fresh video ideas for you. This is my home office. This is where I write all the videos, create the scripts, and also do all my video editing. Uh, right now I'm creating proxy files because we use large 4K format. We have to use proxy files uh, to be able to edit them. And uh, as you can see, we live on uh, Georgian Bay, which is off Lake Huron. So when it comes to well water, I'm very familiar with that. And a lot of my neighbors are on um, surface water, like drawing water from the lake. And again, I do a lot of water treatment with surface water. Oh, shit. Um, uh, 14 ounces of soft water in it and one has four, 14 ounces of hard water and both of them have 20 ounces of that Castile soap. Check it out! Here. <clears throat> wow. And to continue, click over here. It's going to take you to a video that explains to you what this channel is all about, how it came to be, and why I make these YouTube videos. And I'll see you there.